you a very nice July 1st. Happy Canada Day. Our, our driver here is Dexter. Everybody gets their seatbelt on, we'll, uh, we'll get going on their tour. Big pile on our right, that's actually not a rock pile, that's a dam. This, this ice road up here originally was built for, for lupin mine, it was built for gold, it wasn't even built for diamonds. We can see the two rusty sub-vertical features over in the, what would be the northeast wall of the pit. Those are two, oh, they're probably five to 10 meter vaults that um, seem to control the placement of the A21. Amazing amount of coal. This is wood found in the 55 million year old kimberlite. It's not petrified, it's just charred a bit. These are the accommodation wings. It's just kind of neat to see it in 3D.
our specialist has said it's about two kilometers worth of erosion since emplacement. So it's not just glacial erosion, yeah, yeah. but it would okay. be since emplacement roughly 540 million years ago. Coming up to the next timber line. There it is. Blasting hole. Yeah, so we're mining at a much lower rate because it's so narrow at the bottom. We're using our smaller flakes. Between the rusty bits, there's a there's a gray, a, a greeny gray bit. That's the kimberlite going up the wall. And you see, as you train your eye up that wall, you get to the ramp, and it's actually not at the ramp. It stops. It's lined one bench down. You can see the country rock is all broken up there, and that's the top of that kimberlite pipe. And then that thing that we think is the feeder system is that big dike that's going up across that far wall there. This is a radar system. It's a control for slope scale stability. The bird screecher, that's a bird in distress that is supposed to deter other birds from coming around. And really it just causes me distress when I'm trying to speak over it. But uh, I don't know how to turn off the screeching bird. When I was doing palynology, these slight differences between the different coloured shales and the, like this brown mudstone were key in trying to fill in the stratigraphy. So you have the granite on that side, metasediments on this side, and then you have various uh, dikes throughout, and, uh, and then all the other kimberlite extensions showing up. So we're currently on three levels, and we're pulling about 3,200 tons per day from here, which is approximately 12,000 carats every day, just from misery. At the portal down there, you'll see when you're up there, but uh, at the portal, so the mining, the underground trucks bring the mix of the ore, the metal, the granite, hopefully mostly ore, to a little pad over there. They dump it and they sort out a little bit there. Then they load those trucks that you saw coming up here. Point Lake, the actual first discovery, now being stripped down for mining.
everyone here enjoying the field trip so far? Phenomenal. <laughs> Actually, look at rocks. Touch rocks. Fantastic.